it. So it's all it's reverse. Like, the everything that's right, they tell you don't do. Right. In the hood. Everything yeah, that's can right. Can we go say. over it? Can we go over it? Like, everything that's right, they tell you don't. He's complaining. He's at odds with the racket lid. He's signed to MMG, right? But MMG has a parent company, right? So Meeks saying basically like the record labels are making money off of him. But it's not making no money from the record labels, right? He wants to know how much have they spent and how much they have made off of him. First of all, <clears throat> that's none of his business how much they make off of him. They gave him a contract. They made an agreement. Meek made an agreement. Once he signed that agreement, he's under the oath of that agreement. You signed a contract. There's no getting out now. Especially if you don't have a clause to opt out. And then if you do, it's going to cost you. And this is a lesson to be learned for all new artists that want to get in the game. See, the record label come to you and say, look, I got $5 million. I got $10 million. But guess what? <clears throat> I want a five album deal or a three album deal. Let's say a three album deal or a five album deal for five, seven years or something like that. Right? <clears throat> but you're giving up your merchandise. You're giving up part of your royalties, your tour money, your publishing, your masters. Every time your racket gets played on the radio, you get paid, right? But the racket label is going to get the larger percentage. So even your match money, your tour money, your merchandise money, any features you do, any albums you put out, every time your radio gets played, Every time your song, I said the radio, every time your song gets played on the radio, they make money off you. Why you think they invested in you, Meek? Because they knew they could make a profit off you. But you didn't see that at the time. You was young, you was just coming out of the hood, you was hungry, you was basically starving. So you wanted to eat. So when that deal was offered to you, you did not understand or read the blueprint, the fine print of that contract. Because you didn't understand economics, man. See, you guys needed to learn from Master P. You're going to put yourself in a 360 deal. Now you're screaming, me. It's too late now. You got to ride the rest of this deal out. And moving forward, don't sign no more deals to a record label. Because now you know you're giving up your royalties. You ain't got no freedom. You see what I'm saying? The music you make, they get that percentage first, and they get a much larger percentage than you. So you end up with the short end of the stick. Now check this out. When that record label gives you five, ten million dollars, right? So you guys ain't thinking from an economic standpoint. What about costs? You got a co the cost of living. You got rent to pay, and then you got traveling expenses because you're gonna be moving around different parts of the world. And then you gotta pay for advertisement for your music. And then you got to invest back in your music. So you're not looking at that. And then you got to consider Uncle Sam. It's going to take 30%. And then you got lawyer fees. So by the time you break that $10 million down, your left is barely nothing. Whereas you would have been better off building it from the ground up. That way there, you got more economic freedom. You may not get that money up front now, but on the back end, that $10 million would have been yours. So now you're struggling with less money. And this has happened over and over to a lot of artists. Not just me, but me. It's the latest one to complain about his record deal. But once you sign that fine print, once you sign that dotted line, you're on the oath, you're on the contract. You gotta fulfill that contract. And the record label's not going to tell you how much they're making off of you. They gave you your money up front. You should have thought about these things and asked these questions before you even signed the contract. You should think from an economic standpoint. Let this be a lesson for any other upcoming artist to learn from Meek Mill's mistake. That's his mistake. He made a boo-boo. Excuse me. And now I was complaining he's upset about it because he knows better now. But he can't get out of this deal right now until he fulfills his obligation and puts out 